Hey guys, this is Redip here and today we will be continuing upon composition versus inheritance in React. So in last part we have covered about what is inheritance. So if you have not watched that then the link is above. So you can just go to the video and check it out. And second part which we will be covering up in this tutorial is the card from and design. So this is default card which you can see uh, in and design. Uh, before going to composition, I will just explain the part of card so that we can directly jump over to the example. So, uh, card we can say is a simple rectangular container which we can have a title and the content inside it. So, basically, if you see, there are different examples. Now, we can have a cover or in the card, then the details, or we can have multiple cards with title and their card contents also. Uh, we can have grids in the card. So if you see I'm hovering this one grid. These are different grids So if I go to API of card, you'll see first part is card So we can have card card titles and whatever content within the body uh, There are different props which can be passed main is the uh, title which shows there uh, Then we have the size means what should be the size of that card. So we have default we are small uh, after that there is card grid now I said the grid are nothing but these are the grid shown uh, within the card contain so if you can have multiple grids which can on hover will be focused uh, you can disable the focus also so that is part of grid and the last part is meta now card meta can have after class name description style and title so card meta is useful in this ex if you see like we are showing our profile our name and then description so we will be using this all in our example so stay there so let's start with composition versus inheritance in inheritance in our last video what we did we had created a class called cricketer and then we created two classes called batsman and the second was baller which were extending the features of free cricketer class however now i want a player he can be a batsman as well as a baller but if you see cricketer was extended by batsman and then baller but we can't take both of them and create another class right so we don't have multiple inheritance in javascript so this is not possible all rounder class can't be created from batsman and baller and second example i would like to show here what inheritance can't do is like we have cricketer and he can have a test career as well as a odi career and in a uh, test career he can be playing as a batsman or a baller similarly in odi career he can be playing as a batsman and bowler so when we are trying to create classes that are just going and increasing and increasing and Suppose uh, I'm creating a component and the data is coming from backend, say from API, RESTful APIs or any GraphQL, wherever the data is coming from backend. So I may not be aware what should be there coming. And it may happen the data which is coming, he may be a baller, he may be a batsman, but that is not sure. So in that case, it is, uh, I can't say which class to be used. Now in composition, if you see on React uh, JS docs uh, they say react has a powerful composition model and they recommend using composition instead of inheritance inheritance to use the code between the components there are two cases they have mentioned one is the containment and the second one is specialization okay so what does the containment means now containment means that you have created a component but you don't know what will be inside that component then it is called as containment so what they say you can create a component say fancy border and then you can add props.childrens now props.children what does that mean now I create a fancy border component so this is the fancy border component however I'm adding another component within it so these all are the child components of fancy borders so whenever whatever I'm adding inside this is going inside props.children here so it automatically uh, puts that inside that class uh, component specialization means suppose i have some class say i am creating cricketer class and batsman and baller will be a specialization class because they say it's batsman and it will be having details of his runs however for baller you can say he will be having only the wickets however for the uh, taste career 
it may be that he will be having test related career however he may have some children which can be batsman or bowler class so okay so i will show it through example only now let's go in the code now if you see here i already have the code i've written a creator class and if you see have used card now this card is used to display the data of the player inside that i have given a uh, meta tag which i'm passing the author i'm passing the title and i'm passing what team he belongs to and then i'm passing a children so i don't know what may be inside that cricketer class right so i don't know what is there inside the cricketer he may be a batsman he may be a bowler he may have odi color uh, odi career or he may have a test career so i have created a separate odi career and i have created a test career and then i have created a batting component and bowling component so what i'm trying to do here is i'll explain you through so this total is my cricketer component inside that i may have uh, another component say that is test career inside that a player may be suppose having a batting career he may have been doing batting or he may be doing a bowling similarly he may be having a odi career also right so it will be right so he may be having a test career as well as odi career so both can be there so now you know this the whole component is a cricketer component inside that you don't know whether he will be having a test career odi career but inside that you can be having batting bowling so we have separate components and they are independent means batting is just considering having runs and top score where bowling is considering wickets and bowling average test career has title as test matches whatever he has played and then children so it doesn't matters whether test career he is having batting career or bowling career similarly for odi now i go here and let me have a code so i as shown in the image here we are writing a cricketer component so so first high level component is a cricketer so we say we are passing a name so the component if you see the cricketer component uh, there was name then we have team is avatar and then children's right so we have a name and then we have a team and then we have avatar so uh, example which i am taking is from wiki information who is the best player right now so if you go here i see oh, player rankings if you see yeah so it's virat kohli right now and yeah you can get all the information of what he has done in odi and test so same uh it's virat kohli india then he has a odi career so in his odi career he has like 239 matches so i have written 239 matches in that he has done batting uh and he has run like run score like 11520 So in batting, I have given the run as 11,520, and then his score. Uh, what was the top score? He has scored is 183. So I have added it to 183. He has also done bowling. If you see here, there is a bowling like 166.25. This is bowling average. So uh, added a bowling average over here, and total wickets he has taken is four. So I have just added a wickets. So if you see cricketer odi career and then he can be having batting or bowling in the second i'm shown a test career and he is only doing batting if you see here in his test career he has not done any bowling so 
I don't require to add a bowling component here here and we have ended the career a cricketer class a component second example is again a cricketer he's just done test career and the bowling so if you see it's it depends he may be having it ODI career or test career and if you want to have both it can be both if you want single then it can be single so this is what called as containment here so we don't know what will be there beforehand so some component does not know their children ahead of time so yeah we don't know what may be there if it's coming from API so we can have conditions where which class should be there so for this is a static example but in dynamic we can have handling based on that conditions the second thing here mentioned was specialization uh, sometimes we think about components as being special cases of other components. So this batting and bowling are special cases. So if you see, I have not added children's inside this. So we know bowling, there will be only wickets and bowling average. And similarly in batting, we know it will be runs and top score. Whereas in test career, we were not knowing he may be batting, he may be bowling. So these are specializations and this is containment if you see. So I hope you get what that means. I'll start start okay so let the application start uh, I'll show what we have used in card again so we have a card we are given it a border then we are given it a style inside meta tag we have avatar and title and then we have passing children's now in ODI career and test career we are using grids because we have to show a grid and inside that we have given a title component to show the titles. It's level 4. If you go in typography and check title then you will understand what this level 4 means. We have shown in this in the example 1, tutorial 1. So now if you see this is what is the result. So we have a Virat here and we have just breathed here. So if you see this is avatar then his name then we have this total is a cricketer component so both is a uh, cricketer component which is a card component inside that we have this detail about his team so this was in cricketer class itself cricketer component itself then we have grid now if you see this is a grid so card grid if you see, test career and test ODI career and test career it was card dot grid so this is a grid this is a grid and this is a grid inside grid we had given a title which was just showing what are the matches he played so it was ODI and test match so this is just an example you may say that both only just ODI and test may change but you can do whatever you want so this is for a, just an example you can create separate components inside that we are passing children's and then children's if you see this seems to be a single detail it's not showing that there are two components and this is just a batting component so you are not aware of it may be a batting or bowling this is bowling this is just batting and this is both but it seems like it's a single class so similarly just i'm passing children and then batting and bowling both are passed to it so it looks good and you can see yeah it's displayed properly so we don't have to discuss like oh who will be extending what you don't require to know who is extending what and then what will be happening so that's the reason why composition is more helpful I think is compared to inheritance surely let me know what you think about composition versus inheritance in react if you have just comment below and don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you have a good day